I ended the last video very abruptly because mm -hmm. I couldn't find non bleepable words to express my feelings. Valid. Because our slide is stuck in. I'm not convinced it's a slide motor because I can still hear that motor trying to work. Yeah. It, the box is just in crooked. And we had a tech out a couple weeks ago because we had this issue where the, the slide was struggling to go in and out. Yes. And so we called tech out and mm -hmm. he said, whenever you had that slide floor replaced from that leak, whoever put that slide box back in, put it in crooked. I think we're going to have to get it into a bay somewhere because I think this box is going to have to come back out. Might. I have to figure out where it's getting bound up on that front side by the front cap. Yeah. That's the motor that's having the issue. And the tech did say something must be bunching in there that's preventing it from yeah. staying alive. It's hard to get to by just looking, though. I think they're going to have to pull the box out. Probably. Okay, this is as far out as we have the slide currently. And it took some doing to get it, that it did. done. While you were gone, I got it this far out. And I celebrated because it's, it's far enough for me to go through it. So I'm happy about that. It's far enough for you to go through it. But you're skinny. <laughs> you can fit through it too. All right. Demonstrate how we're getting to our food. Okay. Well, if I know the whole layout. I know where exactly everything is in this pantry. So you just tell me what you need. And I, if it's on this but side, I can get it. Sometimes I don't even know what I need. If it's on this side, I will open from I can't that even side. browse. You know how you like to open the pantry and well, just no, browse? There's, there's no browsing right now. No browsing. All right. Show us the rest of the tour. <laughs> Shimmy with me this way. I'm coming. <laughs> Here I go. Okay. So. Okay. Shimmy in. All right. This is a little more snug than that. Yeah, it is snug. It's but it's very cozy in here. You can access. We need majority access to the top two. That's what we need right now because it's cold. Underwears. Underwears. And jeans. Pajamas and the jeans. Yeah, they're in the top drawers. So very accessible right That's now. good because we have our shorts in the bottom the, shorts, yeah. drawers. So we don't have to worry about so that. So that's not a problem. You just got to slide in through here. Yeah, the, the thing I'm really worried about though is like if we if we if it's not fixed by the time it's time to leave here, we got to try to get this thing back in. Yes. And then we got to move, and then we got to once we get there try to get it back out enough to get back even back to this, back situation. To this situation. We were able to get that slide in for the most part. Yes. So we've been able to sleep up there and get in and out without having to shimmy around the bed and the closet and all that stuff. Yes. Which is nice, but it didn't go in straight. No, it's cockeyed. Let me show you. So that side went all the way in. Uh, we just kept messing with it. Me, 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 me. Just baby steps until we could get it all all done. But yeah, you can see on this side, this side is not all the way in. You can see the Schwintech mechanism back there. So what we're going to do now is... We are going to go ahead and hitch up the trailer tonight because the parts have arrived to the dealer. Yes. And they want us there at... 8 a.m. Yeah. The other part of the story is we're supposed to be in St. Augustine tomorrow. Tomorrow we should be going we to St. Augustine. We should be going to St. Augustine, but we had to cancel that because of this. So uh, we've only done St. Augustine one time. It was a day trip. So we've never stayed there. We were looking forward to going there and staying, but we're not going to be able to do it now. Nope. Well, now we're getting into the fun stuff. Why is there paper in the hallway? That's our printer paper for our printer, which is now in the shower. Because we're moving everything from under the bed to in the shower. And then tomorrow morning, we'll take everything out of the wardrobe, which is our pantry. And we'll put it on the floor. Well, we're at the McDonald's. Yeah. We just dropped off the rib. We got Scout with us at McDonald's. I don't know. This is probably the first time Scout's been in a McDonald's. <laughs> I think so. I wonder if he likes sausage McMuffins or sausage biscuits. Biscuits. I prefer McMuffins. Leslie prefers the biscuits. It's probably going to be a eat out every meal type of day. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do today. I don't either. we got to figure a way to kill the day. So we're yeah. going to sit here and eat breakfast. Figure we'll probably sit somewhere and eat lunch. <laughs> we'll probably, after we get the rig back, hopefully, uh, we'll probably go grab some dinner because it would be too late to... To fix anything so yeah. all right we're back uh, I'm gonna explain everything here in a second but 
on, on what the technician told us was the issue and what the problem was. Okay. But we're back at the campground now and we're gonna run the slide out for the very first time. <laughs> Leslie's gonna come in here and let the slide out. I'm gonna go around there and I will bring you with me and we will cross our fingers together that the slide goes out without a hitch. Both sides moving at the same time. And good. <laughs> well, we're all fixed up. Yes. Supposedly. Slide yeah. went out smooth. Mark, who our technician was, was very knowledgeable. Yeah. He explained everything to us before we oh. got started with the work. And then after the work, he explained everything that he did, everything that he saw. Uh, and so here's what he showed us the pictures, everything yeah. that, you know, was going on. And hopefully we're going to try to get th those pictures to overlay yeah. while we're talking, because I'm about to explain to you exactly what he told us and what happened with our slide. So this last place, which is to remain unnamed, yeah. uh, when they put the slide box in, they did put it in crooked. The box was crooked. So the RV tech a couple weeks ago was correct. He was right. The box was in crooked mm -hmm. and the slide rails, the Schwintech slide rails, that the mechanisms that were put in there were put in on a camber. Yeah, they were, they were tilted flat on the slide. Yeah, and the holes where they lined up, the screw holes, were so close to the old holes that they just drilled it right in right next to it. So it's kind of like, you made a good analogy of it. It's if you punch a piece of paper with a, a hole punch puncher. and then you punch another hole, and you think you went next to it, yeah. but you caught something. Now you got like a figure eight shaped hole. <laughs> yeah. And so they put the screw in that figure eight shaped hole, didn't Filled. seal the other part of the hole. Yeah. So he believes that that is where the water intrusion happened. Yes. And he believes that the slide was getting bound up because the mechanism was Whoa. installed on a camber. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping to wake up and have good news to report and end the video. But it's not happening because our slide is still leaking. Yes. It rained uh, pretty hard last night. Yeah. And so I went out to check to see, took the screws back out, took my little paper towel, stuck up in the hole, psh, water just pouring out of there. So still leaking from somewhere. Mm -hmm. So the, whatever he fixed could have been a part of the problem, but not the whole problem. Yeah. So water is still getting in from somewhere. I don't know where. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea. And then um, we discovered that we had a leak in the shower. Here's the leak we sprung in the bathroom. We just had a little bit of a leak coming out down here and then running across the, the rail there. And then we noticed that in here, we had a little bit of the, uh, the wall separating from the, from the sealant there. If you push that in. So I guess when you, know, when you get uh, some water shooting back there, it gets in behind there and then runs down and then it runs out on the back side and then down and across the floor so we found a lot of water infiltration underneath this shower door and when you push on the, the rail track. when you push on yeah when you push on the track at the bottom my water just squirts out from underneath you there can hear it. yeah it's yeah. it's not good um leslie's been wanting to take this shower door out for a, a while now and been trying to convince me to take it out and so i told her i said if anything he did say, if anything goes else wrong goes wrong with it, with then, it, do it. then I'll do it. And so <laughs> I am a man of my word, and something has gone wrong with it. And um, so the, the shower door is going to come out. We didn't take the RV back in. I talked to the technician over the phone, and he ran some things through with me and had me seal some other things up that he thought might be an issue. So I did that yesterday. It's been just over 24 hours and now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the garden hose out of here. I'm gonna run up to the top of the RV, up to the top over here, and I'm gonna simulate rain. So I'm just gonna just soak it for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And if it's still leaking, it'll be dripping out of these holes right here. This hole and this hole. Well, here's the before, which you've seen before. <laughs> Yeah. the uh, shower door in place. I'm doing something different than most people. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What are you doing different than most people? Well, I have to accommodate your likes and my likes. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, I love the doors. I love glass. It lets light in, feels brighter and bigger. But since they must go... Shower curtain's not feasible for us because 
you particularly like to come in here and watch me shower. That's true. <laughs> I do. And you do, you don't want a shower curtain. Well, we can do a shower curtain, but it's got to be see-through. But yeah. So you just want a liner. Yeah. And and I like all the light coming in, so a curtain would block that light. Yeah. And so the compromise is going to be double hanging rods. Okay. To where we hang a heavy duty clear liner and then I will put a decorative valance up top to hide the bar. Okay. And that way it's not just a bar with a shower liner showing. Well, it happened. It finally happened. Leslie finally got naked in a video. <laughs> The only catch is she's on the other side of the, the camera. I can't, I can't turn it around. So, but I was just testing out the view through the uh, new shower curtain. And uh, yeah, I can see, I can see pretty well. So working? Yeah, it works for me. Okay, good. How's it working in there? Good. Yeah? Yeah, it's me, it's not any different really. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, curtain sways which yeah. the doors didn't but okay but it still lets plenty of the light in so i'm happy yeah i'm happy too i can still see everything that i need to see <laughs> from my vantage point here it's a win-win yeah everybody's winning yeah all right i gotta i gotta get off here now <laughs> i gotta I'm, I'm distracted i gotta I can't talk. I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Well, that's it. Bathroom project complete. Yep. And I wish I had better news about the slide leak. But we don't. We're making progress though. Yeah. We're um, narrowing it down. It, it's probably what they said is just a pinhole that we just can't find. Yeah. And it is leaking from the slide roof down to the slide floor. But the good news is there's no wood in the slide walls. Yeah, I was surprised to hear that. So that's, it's only Asdell. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So basically the water is just running like a channel down that corner. It's only damaging the ceiling and, and the, floor. the floor. Yeah. But nothing is soft. Nothing is falling through. No. It doesn't seem like anything is rotting. There's no signs of any kind of mold or mildew or anything yeah. like that. So instead of just keep chasing our tail. Yes. And having text come out or going into bays all the time. And it's killing our fun. Two, it is. Two or three locations that we have not explored because we've been chasing this leak. Yeah, because I'm out there resealing every day. and <laughs> We use the word resealing very loosely. Your words hurt. It looks like a fifth <laughs> grader went out there and was sealing that slide. <laughs> Blindfolded. A fifth grader? That's more credit than I thought you were going to give me, honestly. <laughs> I was being generous. It looked like a kindergartner was finger painting with... <laughs> So sealing it out there i mean it, it really that's how bad i'm terrible yeah, yeah. at it. i'm not good at it at all yeah. and i i admit it openly so which is kind of just weird because you can draw phenomenally yeah you're a medic you have a steady hand you could stitch somebody and probably not leave an inch of a scar yeah but you can't run a beat of seal can't to do save it. your life cannot pull it off <laughs> so instead of trying to keep running this thing down and go in and out of bays and text coming in and out and stuff we're just gonna let it go man yeah Alliance says it'll be fine till we get there, yeah. so the I trust them. The Schwintec is working properly mm -hmm. in and out, um, and since it's not soft now, we'll be there in about five months for the rally. Yeah. So we'll go to the rally, and then we'll get into the bay, and then they will fix it. Um, yeah. If the floor is toast by then, they will replace the slide floor, they'll replace the slide roof, yeah. and uh, reseal some of my hideous yeah. work, and replace some of the decals that I tore up tore during up. your sealing yeah. job. Yeah, but I wanted to... I wanted to name some people by name who have really, really helped us yeah. on the A team mm -hmm. over at Alliance. Tim Bus yeah. and Leslie Larson, who have mm -hmm. just been amazing, um, going out of their way to help us find a place to get into, uh, get us in there quick, quick and get us out because they know we live in this thing. Yeah. And the customer service at Alliance is just always second to none. Top we notch. We always talk about this. And yeah. even when you're in crisis and you're panicking, they are always calm. I was about to say, they're not panicking yeah. when we're panicking. <laughs> they are always in the mindset like, yeah. don't worry, we're going to take care of you. We're going to figure it out. And they kind of calm you back down and talk you off the ledge. Yeah. And, then, and then they deliver. That's yeah. the biggest part. 
They don't just say what they're going to do. They mm -hmm. actually deliver. They got us in and out of the bay the same day. They've had techs come out in and out in the yeah. same day. And, um, That's why we love them. Yeah, it's great. So anyway, hey, we're wrapping it up for this video, but stick around for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. We're going to honor a fallen hero. And if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. Mm -hmm. See you next time. Bye. Bye.